Welcome back, another installment, Real Chip TV, week one preview, we're going to be breaking down week one. I'm your host, Stephen Hellman, here with Tom Moresco, founder of chipgod.wordpress.com, and we're going to be breaking down week one, highly anticipated, you know, Sam, Sam Bradford first game in the Eagle, Monday Night Football, where Chip Kelly is 3-0, and and it's also the 50th anniversary for the Atlanta Falcons, if you recall, Eagles had their 50th anniversary. And that was the Kevin Cobb era. Yes, one one quarter. Short-lived. One quarter. Short-lived, but uh, they looked good in those uniforms. I like those uniforms that they had. Those green uniforms. So, biggest thing for this game, it's Sam Bradford's first game since week 7 of 2013. He's going to be healthy for it. How do you think he's going to do? I think he's going to play well. Um, you know, they're going to have to rely on the run game a little bit. Um, that, but you got to keep Bradford upright and let him attack uh, that weak Atlanta secondary. Their, uh, their defense is very weak uh, overall, I think, um, last season. They were not that good. So you got to attack uh, attack that secondary. Yeah, I mean, I think it, I think it's great that we're you know playing a team like Atlanta. You know, on a, on a big on a, it is a big stage in that football. You know, they're going to be up up for that game. But to play against maybe a softer defense to kind of give Sam Bradford a chance to, to gel on that offensive line that kind of works here because we got a. I mean, all our skills players are pretty much new players. I mean, we had offensive line, you know, we got some new guys and stuff. But for the most part, our offense, similar scheme, but new players. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how, how it's going to how it's going to shake out. Really, what do you think are the keys to the game? Really, essentially, for Philadelphia to win this? For the Eagles, I think they have to establish the run game on the road. You know, you're, you're facing a hostile crowd. You're going to hurry up. You know, you can't really hear at the line. Um, you know, especially if Atlanta keeps pumping the fake crowd noise in. Uh, yeah. They got dinged for that one last year, but all jokes aside, they do have to establish the run game, use all three of their running backs in multiple ways, get guys in space, um, and then obviously that'll set the pass game up and make it a little easier on Bradford, who, like you said, is this is his first game since 2013. So yeah. He's gonna have a he's gonna have a you know not much time to get back into things. He'll have training camp and preseason, and he'll get right right into the swing of things. There. Yeah, I mean, I would say I hope the Eagles have a long, sustained drive to start the game off, but unfortunately, we don't do that's not our style. So I'm thinking a quick strike just to take the air out of the uh, out of the out of the, out of the stadium, out of the dome, to kind of calm those fans down. What about Atlanta, other side of the coin? What do you think they have to do to win? They uh, they need to attack our new secondary, obviously a secondary that last year gave up 72 pass plays of over 20 yards. Um, is only the sixth time that that happened since 1991. That's a historically <laughs> bad secondary, so you see the revamping. Um, obviously, it's not the same players, but I think you need to go after that unit and uh, try to try to attack them downfield with Julio Jones. That's the big weapon they have out there. Test Byron Maxwell is he the real deal or is he not? So yeah. You gotta you gotta uh, hope, hope hope he is if you're an Eagles fan, but if you're a Falcons fan, you're hoping that Julio is going to get the best. Of him. Yeah, I mean, thankfully. I'm pretty sure our, I'm pretty sure our secondary could not be any worse than it was last year. I don't I don't care how bad any of these guys are. I mean, I want everyone to play well, but I'm just, I don't think it's I don't think it's, really bad. I don't <laughs> think it's possible. Um, so, what are, what are your predictions for the game? What do you, how do you think it's going to shake out? Do the Eagles got this? I think if the Eagles can run the ball on Atlanta and set that up, um, it's another big key for Atlanta. They have to try to stop all run, which is not an easy task. Um, I think they'll be okay. Uh, play you know, formidable defense. Um, I'm going to say the Eagles do get out to a quick, hot start and shut that Atlanta crowd down. And uh, they go on to win 31 to 20. 31 to 20. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm also going to be taking the Eagles on this one. I do think that if they can, you know, just run a lot of plays, really. I mean, it's really not, you know, as we've seen the first few years, it's really not the time of possession. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that helps, but that's not, we that's can't We can't sit on the clock. We can't, we got to just pedal to the metal the whole time. And if we can run like 70, 70, 80 plays or something like that, I mean, we're going to, we're going to win the game. And so I got, I got the Eagles 31-17. That's our week one preview. Real Chip TV. Tom Oresco, Stephen Hellman. See you next time.